Hades and his wife. Persephone felt betrayed with the actions of Zeus, and as Zeus led the battle at Olympus against his wife, Hera, and Seraphim, Hades sends the Arima, a trio of shadow-like beings to retrieve the Eleusinian stone from Zeus' temple and other to free themselves from the torments of the underworld. We are recapping the season 2 of the animated series, Blood of Zeus. The battle at Olympus was brutal as the gods and demigods fought against the army of giants commanded by Hera and Seraphim. In the midst of all this chaos, the trio of shadow-like beings sent by Hades were making their way to the temple. They possessed a special teleportation ability that enabled them to take out the guards as they make their way inside the temple. Zeus told Heron that he was to show the world who he truly is as he and his friends sets out to annihilate the giants. Zeus assigned Hestia and Athena the task of retrieving the Eleusinian stone from his temple. They were able to retrieve the stone but were soon ambushed by the shadow beings, but they got away. The shadow beings approached the Charis, the eaters of the dead, to retrieve the stone from Hestia. Zeus unleashed all his powers to kill the giants and died in the process. Hestia was so heartbroken as she taps from the power of the stone and killed the Charis and also killed the owl sent by the shadow beings leaving Hades frustrated. The power unleashed by Zeus killed the giants, as Heron fought Seraphim, his half-twin as he stabs himself and other to kill him and was found by Athena and Hermes who rode him back to Olympus. Hestia gave the stone to Gaia as instructed by Zeus to prepare his son, Heron for what awaits. Hades was hopeless when Persephone approached him with hope that the stone can be retrieved by ensuring the dead Seraphim's safe passage to the underworld to do his bidding. Seraphim descended to the underworld where he was greeted by Hades who promised him freedom from judgment if he will do his bidding. But Seraphim, rather than being the pun of any god again chose judgment where his sins were scaled as he was sentenced to an eternity of torment. Because Seraphim rejected his offer to retrieve the Eleusinian stone, Persephone couldn't remain in the underworld and had to go to Demeter, her mother. It was heartbreaking for their children as they had to part ways. Hades couldn't bear the pain and was hellbent on convincing Seraphim to retrieve the stone. The scene shifts to Hephaestus and Apollo speaking with Heron about Zeus' memorial, how he will be judged in the underworld and also how they should protect his legacy. Hades met Seraphim again at his place of eternal torment and invited him for a walk. There he explained to them how their lives were similar. He explained how he was deceived to rule over the underworld which was like a prison to him. He explained how he fell in love with Persephone but because her mother, Demeter disapproves of it. Persephone ate six grape seeds binding her to the underworld forever. Demeter appealed and Zeus granted Persephone a six-month cycle to spend in the underworld and another six-month cycle at Olympus. But the Eleusinian stone can change her fate that's why Hades needs it. Hades also recalled Seraphim's one true love, Gorgo, how they met and also the resistance they had to face. Hades explained to him how his quest for revenge led to Gorgo's death, and also how she had become a restless soul that the Eleusinian stone can set free. Seraphim in such sad state agreed to help Hades, after all, it's a win-win situation if Hades keeps his end of the bargain. The fates approached Heron, telling him that his threads of life were cut during the war and that imminent death awaits, as there is little or nothing he can do about it. Hades gave Seraphim an elixir which changed his appearance so that he can blend in and retrieve the stone. A tournament was held to honor Zeus as Ares crashed the scene and challenged Heron to a fight. Ares defeated Heron and almost got into a fight with Apollo when Hera appeared and stopped them. Hera was remorseful and banished herself from Olympus for ten years after she honors Zeus. Gaia appeared and announced that after three days, a tournament will be held and the winner will claim Zeus' place at the throne of Olympus. Zeus was summoned for a short while during his memorial as he told them not to hold any grudges among themselves as he gave Heron his ring. This brings us halfway in the series. I will be recapping the rest of the series if this video gets to 10k views. In the meantime subscribe to It's Mythical and thanks for watching.